Hi, welcome to In a Pickle Knitting. My name is Donna and this is Vlogtober Day 25. Today's October 25th, 2018. I'm coming to you from Manassas, Virginia with a short vlog that has a children's literature book related to the season and also a craft. So today's book is called Fletcher and the Falling Leaves by Julia Rawlinson. And it is a really sweet story about a little um, Fletcher, this little guy here, who is um, experiencing his first fall into winter season. And he's very concerned because he has spent the summer um, with his tree, but now he sees it starting to look different. It's not green. It's getting a funny color, and he thinks it should start looking better every day, but it doesn't. And then the leaves start to fall, and he tries to rescue them in different ways and reattach them to the tree. But they continue to fall, and different animals come along and try to take the leaves um, for their homes or protection. And he doesn't like it because they belong to the tree. And then the winds blow, and leaves are just everywhere. He promises the tree that he will take really good care of it and make sure that all the leaves... Um, stay there. He enlists the birds to help him return the leaves to the tree, which doesn't happen uh, very well. And finally, there is just one little leaf left and he tries to hold on to it and keep it there, but ultimately it too ends up on the ground. And he's very upset by um, his first experience with the tree losing its leaves. And of course, he doesn't realize that it will get leaves in the the spring next year but he goes out one super cold day he's just had a really cold night and he goes out and sees his tree has been transformed and if you'll see that page there has um, that um, glittery glossy look because the tree is covered with frost so he sees that there is a new beauty to be um, seen with each season so now um, he has uh, frost on the tree. So this is Fletcher and the Falling Leaves, and I found it a really sweet story for this animal experiencing its first um, fall and leaves falling from the trees. So um, today's craft, not my favorite. Um, it has not turned out the way I expected it to, but I put a lot of time into it. Um, this is a um, burlap covered pumpkin, which I decided to add some glitter to the burlap. I'm going to uh, show you pictures of the process and tell you that this was a long process mainly due to drying time. It took forever for this to dry so I'll try to point out some maybe tips if you really wanted to do something like this that might make you have a better turnout than I had. So first of all uh, the materials that you need. I had a um, commercially purchased pumpkin that's out of some type um, chemically, I don't know, material. It's, um, it's solid. It's not a hollow pumpkin. And it does have a nail that sticks up through the body of the pumpkin that held the stem on. And I removed that with the intention of returning it um, back to the top after I finished. I needed burlap strips and I bought a package of burlap from, I think, Walmart. And it was already not really wide, but um, I did cut the strips down. I needed glue, and I used a complete bottle of glue, and I needed a container to put the glue in. So I dumped all the contents of the glue container into my plastic um, throwaway bowl. I mean, it can be washed out, but um, it was possible if, I, if it ruined it, to, that it, this was just a really inexpensive um, little um, lidded bowl. And after adding the glue to the bowl, I then went and filled the glue bottle up with water and poured that into the bowl and used a popsicle stick, a wooden craft stick, to mix the two together. And then, um, I don't know if I have a picture, yes, <clears throat> excuse me. Then I uh, folded the um, piece, my first piece of burlap back and forth so that it would fit down into the glue, but I did it step by step. So I put a little, the amount in that would fit smashed it down to get the glue saturated, folded back until I had the entire thing in there and then I smashed the glue through. Now here's where I made, I think, a mistake. You need to um, lift it out of the glue water and run your hands, well I was running my hands down to get um, the 
gluey mixture, glue water mixture out. I needed to do that a lot more. I think I left it way too saturated. But after pulling it out, then I put it around the pumpkin. So I gathered it together and put it over that nail that I found kind of handy to hold the burlap in place took it down under the pumpkin and twisted it over on itself and brought it back up. So I had already measured how far that was gonna take and I had cut my pieces of burlap that length. Now you'll notice on the pumpkin that the frayed edges. This is another thing that it wouldn't matter on maybe the first piece you put down, but subsequent pieces, I would suggest folding that under so that that raw edge part is not exposed. I suppose you could sew it in advance under, but the stitching might show, I don't know. Um, I thought it would be okay, but really that's really rough on the top of the pumpkin. So um, it's it, it looks all right, but it doesn't feel all right. So I did that and then just continued to do it until the entire pumpkin was covered. Um, then I decided it was time to paint the pumpkin. So I took the remaining glue water solution that I had, because you know kept ringing out so there was more left in there and I mixed in four colors of glitter so I had this autumn glitter package and I just took four of the um, rusty orange looking and gold colored packets and I put them into a little container and mixed in the the remaining glue stirred it up and then I let my grandson paint it so I will insert some video clip of him here painting the pumpkin now we had to change location because you know had it too far away and that sort of thing so um just a little bit of a clip here of him painting okay cooper in that container is glitter and glue mixed together and you're gonna paint it on the pumpkin okay okay maybe i should move the pumpkin closer to you it washes off your hands if we do it right away oh what do you think of that good I'm getting it's glitter. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. I'm going to use all of the glitter. Yes, we are going to use it all. I was a bit concerned we might run out of glitter glue. And so this is all the glitter I have in these colors. So um, I stopped and went over the entire pumpkin with a light coat. And that way, if it's heavier in some places, that's fine. But we won't have too many empty spots. What do you think, Cooper? Good. Good? Look at me. What are you doing? I'm uh, painting the cover. You're painting the bur... It's burlap on the pumpkin. What is this? It, it's fabric called burlap. Why are we painting on burlap? So it'll look beautiful. It's going to look different than the orange pumpkin it used to be. The table was getting a little gluey, so we moved the pumpkin over this way and the step stool, and Cooper's going to work on this side. Um, this pumpkin had the stem attached by this little nail right here and the nail stuck up about an inch and a half and now we've only got a small amount of the nail there. When we're all done, I will take the stem and, and get it uh, reattached on there so that uh, it looks a little bit more like a pumpkin. With the glue that he painting. Um, well, I think you've gotten it in a lot of spots. Do you see any spots that aren't glittery? Let me turn the pumpkin around again. Yeah. So I can... There you go. You see some spots that need some glitter? Yeah, I do. Mm, there, that's a good way to do it. And then now that it's been painted, I um, put the stem back in, but I took it out. And I because now my nail only had about, oh, half an inch at the most nail exposed because I'd gone over that so many times with the burlap. That wasn't a great idea. I needed, I felt like that stem really needed to, I was going to re-glue it, but it needed a the longer amount in there to be sure that it stayed on because if it was pulled off then you've got this exposed you know nail for want of a better word I don't think it's technically a nail but it was sharp so I took it off and thought about what will I do 
So I finally decided I would make a burlap stem and I'd already planned on uh, maybe making a burlap leaf, which I did. So um, to make the stem, oh, oh, by the way, let me go back and say, in order for this to dry, I put it on a wire rack and let it drip onto um, cling film. So I put some cling wrap onto my countertop, put it on this so that it could, because it was dripping and it dripped a lot. It took it four days to dry, maybe five. So let me then get to uh, my next set of pictures so I can be sure and not, um, and leave anything out of the steps of how did I do the stem. So when I decided to do that, I took one more piece of the, um, well, let me do the leaf first. I took some of the green glitter that I had in that package and mixed it with some green paint and some tacky glue. And I painted that onto a small strip of burlap, let that dry, and then painted the other side. And then I used my uh, Sizzix cutter to cut out a leaf shape that I happened to have that I thought looked, it's not really a, um, a pumpkin leaf but it looked close enough I thought so I cut that out and it made a nice little cut I was very happy with that process then to make the stem I rolled up burlap into um, uh, a cylinder kind of a shape and I well I first put it in the same solution that I did before the glue water um, only I just mixed a smaller amount because I just had this small strip and I rolled it up and then decided uh, it's not gonna sit right on the end, so I cut some um, just parts out of the bottom of the stem so it would flare out and be maybe able to be secured more firmly. And then I mixed some bronze colored glitter with some glue and I painted that on it and then tried to let it dry. It took four days for that to dry. So this project has really taken me a long time. But finally it dried and I hot glued it on the top of the pumpkin along with the leaf. The leaf had a stem and I pushed that stem par portion all the way down in the hole. Uh, I made a little hole with an awl right next to the nail so that it would um, stick into something and then hot glued underneath it. So I ended up with a burlap pumpkin and um, I don't think it's uh, the greatest thing ever um, because of the roughness and just um, all that drying time. If I'd made the stem at the same time, then um, that would have been better and I'd have been happier. I wanted the stem to be twisted, but I just couldn't keep it in that shape and I wasn't thinking about it a lot. I'm sure there's a way I could have done it, wrapped it around something. But um, So it's got a very tall stem and now I can't really make it um, any shorter unless I use a hacksaw. So this was, uh, I'd put it in the fail column more or less, but it's not a 100% fail. It's just not what I was after when I decided to make this project. So thanks so much for watching my craft fail here today. And um, I hope you can come back again tomorrow for another episode. Bye-bye.